your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. The next storm system we're tracking right here, it's an Alberta Clipper system. They come out of the Pacific and then kind of get all their moisture squeezed out over the mountains here, the Rockies, Canadian Rockies, and then they move into the plains and drop southeastward. And this system is what will first bring a warm up for the weekend, but then bring the cold, cold air in just in time for Veterans Day. And what will enhance the cold is what's left of this typhoon that's going to move up towards Alaska really deep in the trough here in Alaska because when you have a trough out here you have a ridge in the west with dry weather and then downstream what does that mean it means troughing so it's like shaking a rope the ridge is here the troughs out here and for us it's a trough where all the cold air is dumped into our area. Now it'll be a cold one tonight, 20 to 25, but then the temperature rising a little bit as the south wind commences and the clouds thicken up. And after a mostly cloudy start to, to uh, tomorrow morning, a lot of sunshine for a while, but then some increasing clouds later on in the day. With a high of 48, it will be a pretty windy day, so it's going to feel cooler than the highs of 45 to 50 over the area. It's going to feel more like about 36 to about 42 degrees. On Sunday, a lot of clouds around. Not a lot of wind in the morning to midday, but the winds crank up by evening as the front goes through and the temperatures start to fall. 51 the high, but we dropped to 40 by early evening with that north wind cranking up and a couple isolated showers or a few patches of drizzle with these numbers dropping as the cold front drops to the southeast. But overall highs 45 to 56 on Sunday. So there's the cloudiness. Late tonight, early tomorrow morning, then we get a burst of sunshine, but then more clouds increase later on tomorrow. There are all the clouds around on Sunday, and then the front comes through in the evening. The wind goes to the north. Again, an isolated shower, a little bit of drizzle possible, and then a wave of some snow shower action comes through generally in the 6 a.m. to about 2 p.m. time frame on Monday. You can see right here, there's 6, there's 9 o'clock in the morning, and then by 1, 2 o'clock, this is exiting, but we may still get a few lake effect snow flurries and snow showers after that. One inch or less of snowfall expected. So the grass whitened or dusted pretty good. Watch for a couple slick spots, but here's the wind tomorrow. Winds gusting more than 30 miles an hour at times. Not a lot of wind initially Sunday. Much more wind as we get into the afternoon and into the evening, and the wind continues right into Monday and Tuesday as well. It's going to be a windy Veterans Day. Wind chills well down into the teens with temperatures in the 20s with periodic snow gradually tapering off. 70 forecast after the 29 on Monday, 14 Monday night with a wind chill near zero, 27 on Tuesday, a couple lake effect snow flurries and then 32 Wednesday, 45 on Thursday, then we cool off Friday. The good thing is beyond Friday, Jordan, I do see a burst of a warm up coming with temperatures above normal. So we'll see another weekend like this weekend again in the future. It's coming, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Thank you, Chad. Yep. The US